The European Youth Parliament Network is a realisation of a single idea, born back in 1987, which has come a long way through many challenges, from accommodating session participants in host families, all the way to having digital sessions in our very own homes. The network has developed quite significantly. Today, as we celebrate the first ever digital international session, Milano 2021, we wanted to take a step back and look into the archives of Milano 1995, the 20th international session of the EYP, to discover the past and build a bridge to the present. To gather some information about the session, we have reached out to participants of Milano 1995. It was the very first international session that took place in Italy, which according to the editor of the session, Bjorn Lampe, was actually supposed to take place in 1994. We were selected originally for a session that never happened, international session in Italy in 1994, that had to be cancelled due to some security concerns, and then it was moved to Berlin. But what was really happening in Milano 26 years ago? opening ceremony uh, in Milan um, was uh, with a visit of the president of Italy at that moment. And you have to know that Scalfaro didn't go to Milan for a long period because there was a previous moment when he went to Milan, there was an attempt of uh, attack on, on his person. It was in times of um, nationalistic party not willing to to have in, in the in the north of Italy. Nevertheless, a year after IS Milano 1995 got back on field. The UIP, you know, is used to adapting to all sorts of situations and, you know, this is just another one it succeeded very well with. When it comes to the practical part of the session, there were things that may surprise you. Things that seemed so normal and uneventful 26 years ago. Ice to your delegates, they would know the um, the topic, and then they would go off and research it in their local um, mm -hmm. European Parliament areas or um, Parliament offices. After a long time of preparation and research, with a session just around the corner, the participants began to greet their host families. So when I arrived at Milano Linate Airport, the organisers met me and introduced me to my host family and they took me to their place in the this, in this, this southeast side of Milan. Now let's take a look at team building in the 1990s. In the old days, we actually got an external person to lead the training at the um, for the team building. And that was it. And he would come to every session and do that. Furthermore, the experience of the officials were also quite different. No, the original task was uh, to cover the session uh, produce um, a daily newspaper on what happened on every day of the session and in the end um, at that stage it was also uh, part of, of what the media team had to do support the chairs in producing um, uh, the resolution uh, papers and a printed address list. Uh, these were the three tasks that we had to sort of cover. While journalists were capturing the history of the session, Aoife Bird mentioned that chairpersons were leading thought-provoking discussions with their committees. Milan 95, I remember that our committee was the first ever agricultural committee that had actually passed a resolution in General Assembly. But in general, EYP, uh, what does it bring you? Uh, uh, it brings you, uh, at first, an interest in different cultures, different countries, and trying to understand also uh, other positions, I would say. Uh, in a second thing, it, it, um, it gives you the ability to speak up, but in a, in a respectful and structured way. Uh, and that is definitely something that helps. Uh, and it's at a time frame uh, in your life where you are still formed, uh, which is a good thing eh? because that helps you in a professional life wherever you go. But, you know, there's so many parts of EYP that are just, they do enrich your soul. It's the people, but it's also sometimes thinking that you're allowed to, I think, maybe think sideways or think you're encouraged by to get to a consensus, and that's not always the case. Ah, I think it's, it goes back to what we were saying earlier. The EYP is incredibly resilient. It's such a beautiful idea. And so all sorts of challenges happen within the wider world, wars within Europe, countries joining the EU, countries leaving the EU, and pandemics, you name it. And EYP is still standing because it stands for something so amazing. It's such a powerful idea that 
whatever you throw at it, yeah, we have to change and adapt, but it still will be standing. And, and, you know, this Milan session is an amazing example of that. Milano's journey has its roots all the way back in 1995. And here we are at Milano 2021, rethinking today and shaping tomorrow. Welcome to the Milano Time Capsule.